So as a health inspector, uh, one of the aspects around a construction site is your safety and well-being. Uh, it's important to wear shoes that have appropriate grips on the bottom so you don't slip. Um, there are also there's heavy equipment, there are holes, there are definitely safety hazards that you want to be sure to be cognizant of. So um, we're here now, at, we're here at the site of a, of a test hole. This, um, this was recently excavated and sometimes what happens if there are rocks in the soil, they end up um, just sort of winding up towards the edge of the test pit. And if you go into the um, test hole and look at the soil, it's possible that the rocks may come loose for some reason, either due to vibration from the machine or what have you. So one of the recommendations is to just go around the edge of the test hole and anywhere there, where there might be a loose rock along the edge, just push that into the hole so it doesn't become a, fit, a safety risk for you. The other uh, general concept about um, test holes is the sides of the test hole are usually structurally weaker than the, than the end. So if you wanted to go and peer over and look into um, the test hole, you're better off doing that from the end of the test pit versus on the, on the sides. So working around heavy equipment can be dangerous if not done properly. If I needed to uh, discuss something with this uh, operator of this machine and I were to approach in this direction, he wouldn't see me at all. When they're digging, they're focused just on what's right in front of them. So they can't see from the side um, and, nor from the rear. Uh, what I would do in a situation like this is I would walk around the excavation, the pile of material that the excavator has been placing here, and walk um, all the way around to the head of the trench where they're digging and do something like hand motion or something to get their attention so that they see, know that I'm trying to engage them and they would then stop digging.